I recently came across this chart in the New York Times that shows the gap between rates on existing mortgages here in the United States and rates on new mortgages. It's a pretty simple chart, but I really like a few things that they do. I like how they highlight the size of the gap, which you can see at the end on the right there. And you can see how they add an annotation that says the exact size of that gap, 3.2 points. Finally, I like how they add annotations next to the lines. So rather than having to have a legend, the annotations are right there with the lines. I wondered if I could do something similar in ggplot. Now I don't have the exact data that they're working with, but I'm gonna use data from the Gapminder package to do something very similar. To start out, I'm gonna load three packages, tidyverse, Gapminder, and the scales package. The tidyverse will be for general data wrangling as well as plotting with ggplot. Gapminder gives us our data and scales will be to make nicely formatted values. I'm gonna then create a data frame called GDP data. So I'm starting with Gapminder and then filtering just to keep a couple countries, Japan and Australia, getting all data from 1982 on, and then selecting a few variables, year, country, and GDP per cap. So if I look at my data, there we go. Next, I'm gonna make a very simple line chart. I'm gonna comment that line so I can just show you what it looks like before I save it. So I just do ggplot and then a geom line with my GDP data, setting my aesthetic properties. I'll move this over slightly so we can see it a little bit better and you can see that we have our basic plot. I thought it might be nice to show that gap from about 1999 on how Australia's GDP per capita is higher than Japan's throughout that time. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back up here and I'm gonna save this chart as GDP line chart. And I do that just to show you like if I run that, it actually just creates that chart. I do that because I'm gonna do some tweaks on top of it, but I don't wanna have to recreate it every single time. So. To add that kind of you know, highlighting here, I need to have some data for that. So I'm gonna create a data frame called highlight data. So I will start with GDP data, and then I'm gonna to filter to get data that's after 2000 and before 2010. So if I do that, you can see I've got that data. Now though, I actually need this in a wide format. So I'm gonna take my highlight data and I'm gonna use pivot wider. So I'm gonna say names are from country and values from GDP per cap. So now I've got highlight data wide. And I need that because I'm gonna use the geom ribbon function to add highlighting uh, in that kind of gap there and I need my data in this format. So now I'm gonna go down here. I've got my GDP line chart and then I'm gonna say plus geom ribbon. So data equals highlight data wide, so that wide data. And then I'm gonna set my aesthetic properties. So X equals a year y min, so the minimum value of the on the y axis is going to be Japan. So in other words, it's gonna be like right there. And then the y max is going to be Australia. So it'll be there. So the x will be year. So it'll be 2002 and 2007, whereas for the min uh, will be Japan and the max will be Australia. So if I run that, you can see, there we go. Now I have that space highlighted. Now I wanted to add an annotation too. I really like how they say 3.2 point gap. And I wanna do that same thing in ggplot. So to do this, I'm gonna first calculate the max value in Australia. So I take my GDP data, filter for Australia, and then I use the slice max function on GDP per cap, n of one, in other words, get the top value, and then I pull that value. So now max Australia, the maximum value for Australia is 30, 4,435, you can see if I look at it here, you know, it's this, it's for that 2007. Same thing for Japan. Then I'm just gonna calculate the difference between the two. So max Australia minus max Japan. Next, I'm gonna make a label, like I want that text label that's gonna go here. So I want that to um, be based on the data that I have. So I'm gonna say scales dollar difference. So in other words, this difference value, which is 2,779 and a little bit. So I'm gonna say STR glue and then scales dollar difference and an accuracy of one. And then this is a line break and then gap. So it's gonna say like $2,779 uh, and then on the next line, gap. So let me actually make this chart and we'll see it. So I'm gonna comment that out because I'm gonna save it again. 
But here you can see we've got our geom ribbon, and then I'm using the annotate function. So lines 105 through 109, I'm actually going to make a line, and that line will go right over here. So I'm putting it at 2007.5, and the Y is from Max Australia, which is up here, to Max Japan. Then I'm doing an annotate using geom text, so I'm adding that text label. So the X is 2008, so it'll show up here. The Y is uh, Max Japan plus difference divided by two. So you can see how it shows up right in between there. Um, and then I just make some small adjustments, line height, label size, H just, and I set my X limits to go from 1980 to 2010, otherwise it gets cut off. Actually, it is getting cut off a little bit, but I think, yeah, if I move that over, it looks better. All right, the last thing I'd like to do, you see how I have my legend? I actually prefer to have those labels directly on my plot. To do that, I'm gonna use a package called GM Text Path. So I'll load it here on line 123. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run plot with annotation, which is the plot that I made last time, but I'm gonna add geom text path. It's basically gonna work almost exactly like geom text, but watch what happens. So you can see it just adds one label and it adds it like right at the angle of the line, which is pretty cool. I also added here on line 137, theme legend position equals none because obviously we don't need that legend anymore. So hopefully this is helpful to show you how you can use GM ribbon to add some shading between two lines to show that gap. And then of course we did also a little bit of tweaking and using GM text path to add nice text labels and remove our legend.